Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to the woods. Um, just the noise of the birds again. Uh, same as last time, sort of buzzards flying around, birds just chirping away. Just in my happy place. It's just absolutely a phenomenal woodland. Um, so I'm out in the Contoon Woods, and I'm going to be doing an overnighter tonight, but I'm not doing an overnighter in the shelter. Um, I want to try out an actual um, the DD tarp and doing a new shelter configuration that I've never done before. Uh, so super excited about it. Uh, so I can't wait to get that set up. So we'll do that just now. I am out, I'm going to be doing a little bit of building, but um, I'll show you the reason why I'm going to be doing a little building just in a little bit. Uh, but let's get the actual shelter set up so I can get myself comfortable and we can crack on with some fun in the woods. Okay, that'll do for stick number one. I just need to get stick number two. So I've been playing around a little bit with the uh, tarp, just trying to get it into position. And um, I'm looking forward to showing you it. <laughs> I think it's gonna work. Uh, I said, I've never actually done this particular type before or this configuration. Um, but what I need is two uh, sort of long sticks, uh, just so I can actually have for the front of the shelter. Now, weather forecast today is actually meant to be raining for just about all day. Um, so it is going to be a case of trying to get the shelter up first just so that I can put my kit away Keep it dry as best as possible and if I said the rain does get torrential I can actually sort of chill out for a little bit uh, So I'm just going to go and get these two bits just now And then it'll be a case of actually just getting the final part set up and then get the um, roll mat sleep mat I've got the German wool blanket as well. So I said I'm in for a comfy night tonight Temperatures not might be getting that low maybe about four degrees so it should be warm enough. But I said, that's just a heavy shower coming in just now. But I said, let's go and see what we can find in the woods. And I don't want to pull that too tight just in case it pulls the back over but I'll put a weight on the back as well that's quite tricky to sort of play around with um, but no happy enough with that so that's another rain shower on just now so I'm just going to get the bedding and all that sort of thing sort of set up the uh, bivy bag etc and ground sheet but no that is well smart I've always wanted to try and sleep in one of these or try and do one of these um, so just a bit different love it absolutely love it 
So that's basically the tarp for me. And then I'm just going to put this other tarp out. And that's just going to be more or less for the kit and gear as well. And this is the one tag just water work, a waterproof one. So tonight I'm going to be using the um, Gore-Tex bivvy, just the army one. So Gore-Tex bivvy and then it's going to be a case of the uh, Thermorite uh, Fabric Reactor Extreme uh, sleeping bag liner which I've been using for the last few while which I've found just absolutely brilliant. Um, and then I've just got the normal Rabasense 700 sleeping bag. And then just the thermal rest sleep mat uh, so again i'll get that out later on but that's quite a heavy rain shower in so i'm just going to get some of the other kit and everything as well just underneath the actual shelter just now and then just settle down for a wee 10 minutes uh, 10 minute nap i think So that's the shelter all set up, so I'll give you a little guided tour in a wee minute. Um, but one of the main reasons why I'm out at camp, uh, a little bit of a disaster. I came out to camp a few days ago just to sort of water the vegetables and check on the bird table um, and just sort of check the progress of the um, camp itself. Now, unfortunately, the kitchen has collapsed. Um, how it's collapsed, I've got no idea, but it has collapsed. So I'm going to be rebuilding it, and I'm not going to be rebuilding it over the next couple of days. It is going to be a case of sort of placing everything out, trying to make it safe where it actually is just now um, and then actually sort of get another structure or a, a firmer structure sort of planned um, so that I can actually make it that it won't sort of fall over or as easily. Uh, as I said, I've got no idea how it's ended up falling over um, but the main thing is it's really a case of just getting it rebuilt. It was a massive part of the actual shelter and I really really enjoyed cooking in it. Um, so I definitely don't want to sort of be losing it. So I am, I've got a couple of plans already as to how I'm going to build it, but I'm just going to sort of see what materials are broken, what damage has actually been caused. Uh, unfortunately, the other thing that it's done is it's landed on the soaring horse, so I need to get the soaring horse fixed at some point because fundamentally most of the stuff I'm going to be doing is either, either going to be chiseling or alternatively using the draw knife, etc., to get everything sort of build back up again. Uh, so a bit of a disaster, but these things happen. It's really less, uh, just a case of actually getting it rebuilt. Um, and it's quite exciting because I've got some really exciting plans for how to do it. Um, same sort of concept that I use for the chair build. Um, you know, with using the the draw sword, uh, the draw knife, sorry, and actually just using sort of pegs at the end just to sort of slot everything into place, uh, almost like a little mechano set. <laughs> so it's exciting times. It means I've got a, another build to be able to do in the woods um, and bring you guys along with it, so you can actually see it all happening. Uh, but what I'm going to do just now, I'm just going to give you a little guided tour of the shelter, the setup that I've actually got, uh, and then it'll be a case of we'll go over to camp and have a little look at the kitchen area and um, see what we need to do. So that's the shelter, and as I said, it's basically just a tarp tied off at the back, and then just the gravity of the actual poles with a guy lying down to the, the ground there. I said that's a bit of a steep angle but <clears throat> I couldn't really manage to get it sort of any other way plenty room huge amount of room and I said this is just the DD tarp uh, 3x3 but all my kit and gear 
and then sleeping area. So really nice setup. The only thing that might be a bit of a challenge tonight is, as I said, there's quite strong winds. Uh, so we'll see how we go. So I have got sort of rocks down, um, just trying to uh, sort of stop it moving around. And on the edges, I've actually put um, sort of sticks as well, just to try to hold everything in place. But it is basically a wind sock. <laughs> you know, so if the wind does come in, I've sort of put it at an angle there where it shouldn't be hit by the wind. Because uh, the wind is coming from the sort of um, the northeast, uh, so it sort of should be okay the way that I've actually set it up there just now. But well, smart. Oh, and look at that, plain as usual. Right, let's go over and I'll show you camp. So there's it, the, uh, the kitchen itself. Uh, so as I said, just completely collapsed. And again, I've got absolutely no idea how. So very, very odd. The only thing I can assume is that one of the um, the legs have actually snapped itself. Can't see anything at the moment, but it has happened. So it's now just a case of actually just quantifying what I can salvage from it and how I'm going to rebuild it. I've got some amazing plans just to actually try and make it a little bit more substantial. So, very odd, but the camp looks so bare without it, it just looks so, so different. Um, so again, it was such an integral part of it. So, a real shame, a real shame, uh, but as I said, it gives me something else to actually do, and um, I said the, the plans I've got are going to be an improvement on what I'd had already there. Um, so no, it's good. Um, so what I'm going to do at the moment is I'm just actually going to try and sort of salvage as much as I possibly can from it, try and figure out what one is actually broken, just and try and make it a little bit sturdier, the actual legs. Um, so as I said, I'm just going to have a little wander around and then I'll hook up for you. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just get all the moss over to one side and then all the main sort of beams over and sort of lay everything out so that when it comes to me actually getting back to doing it again, everything's sort of all there. Um, good thing is a lot of the bits of actually that are pre-drilled they're all still still there the pegs are still there the tops it's it's that's what's weird some of the pegs are still there and they're still actually all the way through so it's not even as if as, as it slid over it's actually snapped it at all they just don't know very very odd uh, but as I said just gonna have a little wander around just now and then I'll get started on this and it won't be long before I get dinner on um, so time at the moment has just gone three um, and clocks have just changed itself so we will get a little bit more extra light but it will just be a case of getting some dinner on really looking forward to it steak and potatoes but the great thing is the potatoes are the ones from a uh, camp um that i've harvested so it's going to be great to be able to sort of eat something that was grown at the the main base camp, uh, base camp itself okay so let's get all this sorted everything start back up and it does just look so weird without the kitchen here it really really does 
Um, but I've got all the materials are fine. There's nothing that's snapped. The only thing that's possibly a case of one of the um, the side poles, it didn't have twine around it. So I don't know whether maybe the, the twine had gone in it. It was tied around the other two, but one wasn't. And it's maybe just slid. Uh, so I think that's what's happened. It's just the whole thing's just gone over, um, which is uh, obviously a shame. But I mean, at the end of the day, as I was saying, it's, it's going to be a good thing to be able to rebuild something a bit more structured to it. Um, so I've got some really good ideas. The other great bit of news as well is the sawing horse is not badly damaged. Uh, so tomorrow it'll probably be a case of, or even late this afternoon, I might just retwine everything and tighten everything up as possible. Um, and I think that'll probably be actually be okay for using as well. Because uh, I said, if I am going to be using the new stanchions and the frame, I'm wanting um, sort of four main poles dug down um, with um, sort of rock around the bottom of them as well in the actual earth, just to try and make it as stable as possible. And then just the square support beam across the top and then moss across the top again. But I've got a bit of an idea for the table that I want to try and do as well. So super exciting. Uh, what I am doing though just now, I'm losing a lot, a lot of light. Uh, so I'm going to start getting dinner on just now. I'm quite hungry. Uh, so I'm going to get dinner on just now. And, and as I said, it's steak and potatoes. But the main thing is it's the potatoes from camp uh, grown just there. So it's going to be really exciting. Absolutely nothing has touched my bird table. This is now starting to be a bit of a joke here. Um, so I'm sure they're laughing at me. Um, but there's nothing touched it. Now, since I've moved it, I had actually put cheese and I had also put on mealworm, etc., and um, when I came on Sunday, all of that had gone, replenished it all, restocked it all, but nothing, not an actual thing. I have not seen a bird on that bird table. Uh, and I can see the bird table from camp. Um, so I am gonna be lying there with my binoculars watching that bird table, seeing if anything actually takes. Uh, but I'm sure eventually they'll get used to it uh, and start feeding off it. Uh, but as I said, let's just head back over to the, um, the tarp and we'll get some dinner on. Okay, so I'm just going to get them into the pot just now and get them boiled up.
Okay, let's see what this is like. It smells absolutely amazing. Mm. It tastes the same. That was really nice. That mashed potatoes are absolutely lovely. Okay, so I'm just going to finish off my dinner and then I'll hook up with you. Well, I'm already losing a lot of light, so I've put the, the, um, the Ray Auxiliary light on the side of the GoPro there just now, just to sort of cover it. But um, no, I think I'm in for a really nice night. It is raining, but I just love the noise of rain on the, on the tarp. It's just so, so nice. Very, very, very relaxing. Um, so as I said, I'm just going to chill out for a little bit, do a little bit of reading. And I'll hopefully get fire on later on and a bit of a chill. So I'll catch up with you later, um, just before I sort of get into bed. And hopefully, I said, have a really nice night. See you in a wee bit. Well, what can I say, that has been an incredibly relaxing evening. Really, really, really nice. Nice just getting the fire on as well, though. Um, just warm my hands up. But after dinner, it was literally just a case of going into the sleeping bag and relaxing, uh, doing a bit of reading, catching up on social media, etc. So, really, really nice night. But I say, I'm just going to let this fire go out, and then it'll be a case of heading into bed. And just that noise of the rain, um, it's really, really relaxing. So I absolutely love it. So a nice chill day tomorrow, nice long lie, uh, and then it'll just be a case of sort of gathering materials for the new kitchen um, and just sort of double checking on the soaring horse, seeing if there's any sort of repairs I can do. But I think I should just be able to retwine it more than anything. Okay, so barring any incident, I shall see you all in the morning. Well, that was an amazing sleep. Absolutely amazing. Slept for over nine hours. Um, so I had a lovely long lie, but I have been sort of woken up. The wind has really, really picked up. And uh, heavy, heavy rain all night, but I just love the noise of rain on a tarp. It's just so, so, so relaxing, as I was saying last night. Um, so a really good night, really comfy. No owls, which was an absolute miracle. Uh, normally when I stay here, even when I'm at the big shelter, uh, the owls just sort of kick off and um, it's quite impressive the, the noise is, is really really nice I love them calling uh, but I said no owls last night and um, no just a really really nice relaxing evening but I said I've just checked the weather forecast just now um, I said because I was woken up by the wind it is meant to be getting quite high in a wee bit uh, so I'm just sort of going to review what I'm going to do it may very well be a case of have breakfast then to sort of take down camp um, I'll have a quick wee look over at the uh, soaring horse as well and try and have a look and see what I'm going to do uh, a couple of wee bits of um, sort of gathering materials for the uh, new kitchen as well um, so nothing major but it may be a case of taking down camp prior to me doing that because uh, I said I don't want to damage the tarp in any way 
Um, so as I said, just gonna have another little chill out just now and then I'll hook up you just as I'm getting breakfast on. so nice <clears throat> first coffee of the day so it is actually a beautiful morning although it's raining and it's windy and everything as well it's sort of like that typical scottish island uh, but absolutely love it uh, so i quite often just have sort of bacon medallions um, and a cup of coffee for breakfast um, so as i say i'm just going to finish this off just now and then it's going to be a case of sort of heading off into the woods um, just to get some materials Wow. I have to say I love this shelter, I love this concept of it. It has moved a bit during the night just with the high winds, a um, few wee things I would have done better sort of idea, uh, but I said first time actually doing it, well impressed. But I said just going to finish off my breakfast and then I shall catch up with you. So as I was saying last night, the first thing I'm going to do is um, just get the sewing horse re-tied re up just so that I can actually start using it again for uh, the next time I come and do uh, the actual kitchen build itself. And I'll just do this with basically all the time points that I've actually set up last time. And it's just a case of retying it all. I mean, basically what's happened is the, the frame itself, what I've done is when I've actually built it, I've built three um, sections itself and actually drilled Scotch auger holes and then actually have uh, pegs all the way through, pegging it all together. So when it's actually fallen over, it's not snapped anything, which is great. Um, so as I said, it is really just a case of actually just trying to retie everything tighten it all up again and hopefully that will be sufficient even there it's a lot better okay so I'm just going to carry on with all the sections here and then once we've done that we're going to be going off into the woods itself just to actually get some materials uh, for the actual kitchen itself <laughs> Well, that's me got all the materials and um, so next time I'm uh, going to be at camp it's going to be a case of building the new kitchen so really exciting uh, what I've also been contemplating just now is conceivably doing it over three days because there's going to be a lot of different techniques um, a lot of sort of draw knife a lot of whittling and um, a lot of carving etc as well and uh, scotch auger so really exciting cannot wait to actually get doing just love building uh, but at least I've got all the materials here now and I can just lay everything out uh, next time I actually arrive 
Um, but no, that's been a thoroughly enjoyable trip. So what I'm going to do now, the weather's coming back in, so I'm going to head back over to camp just now and just actually start taking everything down and then I'll just catch up with you just before I'm heading back to the van. Okay, well that's me all packed up, ready to go. Um, thoroughly enjoyable trip as always. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it as well. Something a little bit different. I haven't done that in a, uh, ever and I will definitely be doing it again. That was really, really good fun. Um, really, really good fun. And especially trying to get as much done before the midges start hitting me. Um, so no, I'll try and get out as much as I can and try and get that sort of trip done. Um, but thoroughly enjoyable. Unfortunately, I haven't used my mobile for the last little bit. I'm having a bit of a problem with the GoPro. So I do apologize if there's a problem with the audio. Um, but all I wanted to say was just a massive thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye-bye.